light, y'all. Oh, it's the yellow light. As you can see, it's a foggy morning. And I'm headed to the barn yard. All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> I'm headed to the house. I didn't put in my time with Mr. Charlie. And I'm done. We're gonna ease on across here. I'm on this old ridge turnpike. Uh oh. I'm on this old ridge turnpike. Drop on this Martin Mill Drive. I think that's what it's called. And we're gonna take it to the house. A little foggy out here this morning, so we gonna ease on trying to get out of everybody's way. All right, ride with me, y'all. Ride with me. Get out from behind this guy. What, he got a concrete mixer or something. That's all I need for a oh, rock. Need the old concrete or something come over here and hit me in my mouth. That wasn't me no fun. I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk to you no more. That wasn't me no fun. Yeah, that sun's coming up pretty fast. Burn this old fog off. I like to ride this one I'm, when I'm running around town, kind of uh, bar hopping, visiting. I used to ride this out of town a lot. Go to Myrtle Beach about four or five times. I rode it to Florida a couple of times. Did a lot of day trips. Since I got my gold wing, I kind of put my jump on that gold wing when it's time to get busy. This is kind of my little knock around town bike, I call it. But I got the wide open custom back wing with the upgraded knockwork. I think it's a three and a half inch windshield knockwork. I got the karaoke window tram mirrors. I like them real good. I've got the ape hangers put on here. You don't see a whole lot of M109 with a set of ape hangers on. I got 21 inch ape hangers. I got Cobra exhaust. They give it that grumble, grumble, grumble. I've got the big air kit on the size of the intake. I do have a 250 tire on the back. 
It comes stock with a 240. No, I don't. I have the 260. I have a spare rim that has the 250. I have the TKY hard side bags. TKY hard side bags. I like them a lot. They look real good. Kind of changed the look on it. I was starting to get a little bored with the way it was looking. So usually how I keep from buying something, I kind of do some upgrades, modifications, if you will, on it. So uh, I changed the look. I kind of like the look. So this is what we're going with right now. As far as performance, like I said, I have the uh, big air cleaners on the side, on both sides there. I had a lot of stuff powder coated on here. It's got a lot of cast aluminum. That cast brushed aluminum look, I don't like it. So I powder coat as much as I could if I happen to go through a whole lot. I have those things. Um, I had them powder coated. I just don't, I just don't have them installed yet. I have a TRE, which is a timing retarder on the fuel system. I do not have a uh, power commander. I have a TRE on the fuel system and it does what I need it to do. That's a chip takes all the restrictions off the motor as it should but it runs out real good it does real good for me I'm an old man now I just turned 50 so all that flying and popping willies and trying to outrun one another I'm long past that so I do like to make a little noise when I'm riding. I had my seats redone. I have the Suzuki gel seats and I kind of started getting a little rip just to kind of give a little bit of a splash of flavor. I put my Mr. No Shoulder Skin on there. Milton Lake Drive. This is where I'm at hang me a left and bust the move down here by the by the little walk uh what the hell they call this i guess it's the wreck the little wreck it's a real nice park man ain't been a lot of people walking and row boating and exercise or whatever you want to call it little bit of a shortcut here's that fog I was telling you about there's Calhoun's on the river I don't know if you can see that water or not over there but it's real good and foggy right now well it ain't that bad I mean you can see but it's fog out here yeah I'm headed on in you guys Coming in hot. I'm gonna shut up and ride. Ride with me, y'all. Here we go.
Ranch right here is part of it. Sometimes you gotta ride in the fog. Sometimes you gotta ride in the rain. I have rode with snow on the ground. I was up in Beartooth Pass and we was going up through there and it was snow everywhere. It was not on the road, but it was all on the grass, in the trees. I guess the temperature dropped down to about 41 degrees in our higher elevation. But some of the, some of the guys that was with us Riding, 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 riding. Seen a little bit of snow over here and there. We was riding, going up the mountain. Seen a little bit more snow. Seen a little bit more snow. They was looking at me. I could see them in the mirror like, where in the world is Snappy taking us, man? So we pulled over to stretch a leg out and use the bathroom. And, uh, my buddy D. Porter looked at me and said, uh, uh, hey, buddy, uh, are we lost? <laughs> I said, what in the world make you say such a thing like that? I'm a truck driver. You think I've ever been lost before? He said, uh, how much of this snow we got to ride through? I'm starting to get cold. I said, well, I believe we got a few more hundred miles to go, but if you got to put on your plug-in gear, that's what you brought it for. Plug it up and uh, it's time to grit and growl. So, it was kind of funny. They thought we were lost, but we did go over Bear Two Pass and it was snow everywhere, but that's what you do when you go up in them high up elevations. When you go out west in Colorado and all them places like that, man, but it's beautiful country. I can't wait to get back out there again, boy. I can, I can stay out there a, a lot. Come on, buddy, let's get it. But. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Slappy Dog is headed to the barnyard. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, the like button. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. That kind of helps my channel grow. And uh, share it see something on my channel you like share it with your buddies uh, that's part of how all this social media thing is goes I'm trying to get started here but I'm having a lot of fun shooting these videos and kind of telling my story so uh, I would appreciate it all right you guys two fingers means peace. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.